What's up guys? My name is Lauren McDonald. I'm a TV news anchor in Charlotte, North Carolina, and today I'm answering the top three questions that I'm asked the most as a TV news anchor. So the first question I am asked the most is what time do you wake up in the morning? I'm a morning news anchor, so this means that our show is live from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. I personally wake up between 1.30 and 2 a.m. So my alarm goes off about 1.30. I wake up, I take a shower, I do all of my skincare, get dressed, and I pretty much prepare the night before, have all my stuff packed and ready to go, my workout clothes, my lunch, all of that, so that I can just kind of like scoop up my stuff and head out the door. I do my hair and makeup first so that that's out of the way. And then I give producers time to kind of get the scripts in the show so that I can go through with a fine tooth comb and kind of rewrite the scripts as I would be speaking to you like I am right now in a way that is more conversational, approachable, and just sounds more like me. By the time I get through all of the scripts for the morning, it is typically time to touch on my makeup, put on my microphone, and then head in for the show. Now in order to get up by 1.30 in the morning or 2 a.m., I have to get to bed very early. I typically go to bed between 7 and 7.30. Some days are better than others. Some days I'm going to bed even earlier than that, and then some days, unfortunately, going to bed much later. So the trick for me is to make sure I stay on a routine because then I know I'm typically tired by 7 p.m. I've been doing this schedule for about eight years, so I kind of have it down pat. I know it works for me, and I'm able to kind of live the lifestyle that I wanna live get enough sleep, and still do all the things and have the energy that I want to do. So once I do the show, sometimes I'll have a shoot, sometimes I'll, I'll prepare for the next day. Because I'm at work by 2.30 most days, I'm leaving by 10.30 or 11 unless I have a shoot. I usually pack my workout clothes, my yoga clothes, and go straight to the gym right after work because I know if I don't do that, if I come home and I sit down, then I'm not gonna go. So I make sure that I have the clothes in my bag so that there's no excuse. The second question I'm asked the most as a TV news anchor is who does your makeup? And if you just watched through all that, you heard me say, I have to do my own hair and makeup. Now, when I started out, I worked at the Golf Channel and I started as a producer, but I also became a digital host while I was there. They had an entire makeup team, so I was fortunate enough to kind of learn some tips and tricks and even when I was on golfchannel.com, I learned how to do makeup because they were able to show me things and teach me things when I would go into makeup. Now, local news, unless you are at an owned and operated station in a major market, top 10 market, typically you're not getting your makeup done for you unless it's maybe for a special promo shoot or something like that. But every morning, doesn't matter, I go in and I kind of have my routine, I know my makeup routine. I'll be sharing tips about that too on this channel, so if you're interested, um, make sure that you ask me any questions below. This is my makeup still from this morning, so it's a little bit worn off, but I have learned some great tricks and I have some great products that I use daily that I will be sharing in the future. So I do my hair and makeup, it takes me about 30, 45 minutes, just depending on how much time I have to spare. And then I go out and do my duties for the show. The last question that I am asked the most is how do you get on TV? And the answer for that is a little bit tricky because I always say everybody has their own journey. I started out at network and now I work in local news. Again, I started behind the scenes at, for NBC Sports working at Golf Channel as a producer, became a digital host there, and then kind of had to take a step back if I wanted to fully commit to television, that's what I did. Landed a job in Colorado Springs as a morning feature reporter, did some anchoring out there and some lifestyle hosting, got a ton of experience, and then landed a job here in Charlotte, North Carolina, two hours from my hometown. So how do you get on TV? You have to do internships any experience that you can get. It's so much easier to get comfortable in front of the camera now because we all have the setup, right? We have these iPhones with these great cameras and we can just film ourselves. But the number one thing is to get your reps in and whether that's through internships, whether that's through you making your own YouTube videos, whether that's you practicing filming yourself out in public, whatever it is, that is the most important because once you are comfortable on camera, you will just continue to grow. So internships, number one, as many as you can do. Start in high school if you can. 
Contact your local news station if you live in a big city or even a small city. If you think you're interested in news or being on TV or reporting, send an email to your local news station. See if there's somebody that you can go shadow. Most people are very open to letting you come do that. When you're in college, do as many internships as you can. They will pay off. Yes, college is typically necessary to land a job in television. However, it is changing. And I will be the first to say that I learned the most in my internships about this field. Next is hard work. When you first start working in television, especially if it's at a local news station, it is a grind and it is not for everyone. And most places nowadays are going to be a multimedia journalist. And that means that you're going to be shooting your own video. You're not gonna have a photographer. You're gonna be writing your own scripts. You're gonna be producing your own graphics. You're going to be doing all these jobs and then still be required to be on camera and tell the story. This is where you really earn your stripes and grow, but it is not easy. Hard work and dedication, you'll learn really quickly if this is something that you want to do. Because again, it's a grind, you're asked uh, to do a lot of things, but you also develop so many skills that I talked about in my last video that translate to other fields if television is not something that you wanna do. Talking to people, learning how to communicate, learning how to deal with people in different situations. You know, a lot of times people, before you do an interview, will act like they're so comfortable on camera and they're gonna be fine and then you're live and you know, they stop talking altogether. Being able to carry a conversation with someone like that and make them feel comfortable is a skill that not everyone has. And as a journalist, as a reporter, that is something that you learn how to do. You learn how to bring people out of their shelves and make them feel comfortable. A skill that is great for sales and owning your own business. I mean, you have to talk to people, you have to have relationships with them. So this is a really great way to be able to learn how to do that. Last but not least, persistence. Do not give up if this is something that you know for a fact that you want to do. You have no idea how many people told me that I would not be a news anchor. I adored my grandfather, but he told me, you don't have the voice to be on TV. He was a teacher and taught many journalism classes, and he told me, you don't have the voice for journalism, don't waste your time. And that is somebody who I idolized and looked up to. And him telling me that, somebody at the time that knew a lot more about the business than I did, I could have easily said, oh, well, he doesn't think I can make it and never pursued it. But the industry has changed so much since he was a journalism teacher. There's so many people throughout my career that, you know, tested me and kind of made me realize like, hey, do you actually want to do this? You have the will and you are persistent, you will make it. The one piece of advice I can give you is do not let anyone tell you that you can't. If you let what someone else says get in the way of your path and your journey and your desire, then you will never make it. I mean, I had somebody in my family who I loved to tell me, and who loved me very much, tell me, you're never gonna make it. To answer the question overall, how do you get on TV? Again, internships, hard work and dedication, and being persistent. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I plan to share so much more. Again, I'm just kind of putting stuff out there, putting information out there, seeing what sticks. I know a lot of people are interested in, you know, my life behind the scenes, so this is me sharing it. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Also, if there's something that you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments, and maybe we can get it in very soon. See you soon.